shalt thou take unto thy son. So, the nation of Israel is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God says that we should not take the daughters of other nations and intermingle that with our seed. Why is that? That's called lewdness, according to the Bible. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. This is the purpose of us coming out to these streets teaching our people. My brother who is across the street. When you see your brothers, you, you come over here because in gathering ourselves back together, we got to know what to call one another. Instead of calling ourselves black, Hispanic, and Native American, what does God call us? Read it. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. So here in America, where we have been shown to be not desired, they have torn us apart. Now we think that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are two, three totally different people. But God is saying in these last days, as he restores our nationality back unto us, that we must gather together. What's going to gather us together? God's laws. Read it again. Gather yourself together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. What is the purpose of gathering together? When we're separated from one another, that's why they call us minorities. Right. When you have a, when you're called a minority, guess what you think of yourself? You think of yourself in a minor way. Right. So when we look at the conditions of our people, as an effect of what has happened to us here in America, we see ourselves in the minor corners called ghettos. We have that minor mindset where we will sell drugs and kill one another right. because we don't know how great of a people we are. Right. Right. Read it again. Gather yourself together. Yay! Gather together, O nation that desires. So when we say that we have the Holy Ghost, we understand that the Bible is showing us that first and foremost, we must gather together. Like we must gather together as a people. Right. Because when it comes to policies, ordinances, laws that are here in America, they're going to do everything that they can to separate us. The number one thing that they're trying to do, and they have been doing since the 70s, is separate the black family. Right. So when they're able to separate the black family, no longer do we have that position of power. With that family, you create a nation. And if they can separate the family, we are no longer a nation. Read it again. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. And, you, for, and, and even more so, black unity puts fear into the other nation. That's, right. That's why we must gather together in these last days right. to show ourselves as a great people from the beginning. Right. When you separate and follow the customs of your oppressors, of those who have hated you, and then you follow that doctrine to justify your sin, you don't understand how far from greatness you've fallen. Read it again. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. How will we gather together? By coming back to the words of God. Right. Understanding who we are right. according to God. Get that in 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. Because right. I know what has happened in multimedia is they say, well, those black Hebrew Israelites, they're always reading out of the Old Testament. God is showing us how to gather together as his people, right. even in the New Testament. Right. Read it again. Right. Read it. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Right. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. So in gathering together, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we must be able to speak the same things when we read the Bible. Read. And that there be no division. That there be no what? No division. No what? No division. Being called a minority, that is a division. Right. When we learn our nationality, so-called black man, so-called Hispanic and Native American man, when we learn our nationality, we will be able to say that we are the children of Israel. Right. And the nations, they hate when we claim our true God-given nationality. Right. Read on. That there be no divisions among you. And watch this. That there be no divisions among you. When we were put into slave chains and shackles, we were divided in family. We were divided in our mindset. You would go to one plantation that was Baptist ruled. You would go to another plantation that was Presbyterian ruled. Right. Another plantation.
nation. That was United Methodist rule. Right. And guess what that did? It destroyed the mindset of our people. Right. That is how destroyed we have become. But God is saying in these last days, restore yourself to your greatness. My right. sister right here, what is your nationality? Do, do any of our people know their God? Get, matter of fact, hold Deuteronomy 28. And we're going to read 1 Corinthians again. Because I'm sure that a lot of our mothers, our sisters, our brothers, when we say that we believe on God, is it according to the same thing? Read 1 Corinthians 1 and 1 and 10 again. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10. Uh -huh. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So when we come out to the streets and teach our people, we're teaching our people Christ. We're teaching our people who they are according to the Bible. Right. My family right here. I'm going to ask a simple question. You can wave your hand. Just a little bit. Does it matter what Christ looks like? Not to me. No. Not to you. Let's get John 7, 38. Let's show you what the Bible says. How you going to know who he is if you don't know what he looks like? A lot of times yeah. on our slave plantations, we were taught that Jesus Christ is a white man. Wake Turn it up. back up. Turn it back up. Yeah. So, John 7, verse 38. I, I, some of our sisters said it doesn't matter. Let's see what Christ himself says. Read. The book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. He uh -huh. that believeth on me. So Christ says, if you really believe on me, so-called black woman, read. As the scriptures have said. If you believe on Christ, you got to go into the Bible, sis. And right. it does matter. Why? Read. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You will have proper understanding. And what scares me the most is that young prophet, that young king, is walking amongst three black women who have no concern over who the king of the kings is in the Bible. No concern that that young black man looks like Jesus Christ. And they don't want to open the Bible to teach him that. But you know what happens? In the black woman's mindset, and sometimes black men's mindset, we are so comfortable with what the white man teaches, what the white man disregards, and so, yes, sir. Deuteronomy 7 and 3. We are so concerned with the comforts of our oppressive society, we have disregarded our own God. Let's show that even more. Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. So God has given his children a law that we should not make marriages with other nations. Read. Thy daughters thou shalt not give unto his sons, uh -huh. nor his daughters shalt thou take unto thy sons. So, the nation of Israel is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God says that we should not take the daughters of other nations and intermingle that with our seed. Why is that? That's called lewdness, according to the Bible. Our, our, some of our brothers are in the midst of adultery when they marry the other nation. That, hey, that, hey, you're offended, but that law is for my brother. He got to understand that he hates his people by loving you. Simply put. Let's get that in Tobit chapter 4, verse 12. Because at first, she ignored us like we were some dumb niggas. He had all the, uh, had all the smoke to begin with. But as soon as the law came out, he had to humble down and she got upset. Because guess what, my brother? She don't love you. She just love that thing between your legs and the money you bring home. So understand, we're going to read the word of God that you may be edified and you may leave that with you and your son. Read. Toby chapter 4 and verse 12. Yeah. Beware of all whoredom. So you're in the midst of whoredom yeah. when you sleep with her. Right. And she's going to filthy up and she's going to degrade your son's mind too. Right. Read. Beware of all whoredom, my son. That is whoredom. Read. And chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy father. The seed of the, uh, of the Israelites is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American That's women. Right. That is the seed of our fathers. Right. We have the most beautiful women on the face of this planet. Right. But why should a black woman want to marry a Chinese man right. or a white man? Right. Because they have lost track of God's sanctity, God's cleanliness that he's given us. Why would the black man want to marry the white woman? Right. Because he loves the oppression that comes with it. Right. Read it again. Beware of all whoredom, my son. That's filthiness. That's whoredom. Read. And chiefly, take a wife of the seed of thy fathers. Our fathers, our nation should be the first people we see. Right. And the only people we prefer. Right. Read. My, beware of all whoredom, my son. And chiefly, take a wife of the seed of thy fathers. Right. And take not a strange woman to wife. Right. Read. 
which is not of thy father's tribe. Right. For we are the children of the prophets. We are the children of God. That's what the Bible is saying. When we prefer our own people, we're showing how good God has been to us to restore to us a great nation, to restore to us the understanding of the Bible. But we got to come back to God's pure understanding. You know what? For we are the children of the prophets. Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all married wives of their own kindred. They chose women of their own race. Right. Now, during the time of slavery, and I want you to go back to Deuteronomy 7 and 3. During the time of slavery, the KKK will come to our neighborhoods, burn crosses, and tell our people, you are no good. Whites only, colors only. Right. So nowadays, when we're teaching our people their nationality, they're saying that everybody should be together. Where was that? What was the John 3.16 during that era? Bring it out. Deuteronomy 73. Let's make it plain it why God has said there's separation. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3. Go ahead. Neither shall I make marriages with them. Uh -huh. Thy daughters thou shalt not give unto his sons, uh -huh. nor his daughters shalt thou take unto thy son. Go ahead. For they will turn away thy son from following me. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you. And fire!